This young man here is King Felix Nero, and yes, he's the one we're talking about today. He has allegedly beat off his wife's nose, like beat off her nose in her father's house. Now, the story is that King Felix and his wife have been married for about five years, and they have three children. But he is a wife beater, according to reports, that he beats his wife, and they've always had issues in their marriage. And the lady in question right now got tired of the whole um, beatings, and she left her husband's house and went to her father's house to stay. Now the husband went around begging his friends to come, um, you know, ask the wife to come back. And you know how it is in, in Nigeria most times. People love to go and beg for the abuse to come back to the abusers. Anyways, she was in her father's house and apparently he asked his friends to help beg her to come back. According to the story, she agreed to come back on Saturday. And before the Saturday that she agreed to come back, he went to her father's house, you know, and probably maybe something went on and... The next thing, maybe there was a fight and all that, and he beat off his wife's nose. Like, I mean, he beat off the nose of the mother of his children. I cannot put up those kind of videos because you know how it is with YouTube and um, regulations and all these issues. But now the thing is that this guy is a young guy. I wonder who raised this man. Like, small, small children, small, small boys that they just carried people's daughter and gave to like you went to marry somebody from the father's house and you decide to become a woman bitter like you just turn the person into a punching bag from what we can see on the guy's facebook page he does not hide his wife he is so quick to post her picture the wife is even his cover photo on facebook in fact her pictures are everywhere on his page and now after i think she celebrated her birthday here when he wrote a whole story talking about her i'm going to read out that story for you guys now this was what he wrote to her on her birthday, saying, You are the most adored person in my life. When I look at you, all I see is perfection. Perfection that you beat off the nose. I have never met another human being in the world that is as strong, passionate, enduring, capital letters, enduring, women, enduring, smart, intelligent, nice, loving, and caring as you are. You are the very person that is my addition. You are the one, you are the very one that makes me smile. And even through the darkest moments of my life, despite all I did to you guys, can you see that? Despite all I did to you, your forgiveness and love was there for you to offer. You are the person I can't ever dream to live without. I want to use this means to let you know that I love you so much and know I always love you. As you mark your birthday, I pray for more blessings that come with cause our love to be more beautiful, stronger and amazing happy birthday okay so basically one of the things that this man used to heal his wife was the fact that she was enduring and, and i know that life will throw things at you as a, as a couple but the things you should be enduring in marriage should not be the pain that you are inflicting on each other don't come and tell somebody to be enduring the knocks and the blows and the fist throwing you understand you should be let's say okay stuff happens that life happens like things you cannot control okay you go through it together not like you are personally or actually inflicting pain on somebody and telling the person to endure it and see the way he was talking about the things that he has done to her and she forgave this issue of abuse is a very very deep issue and when i went to his page on um, facebook i saw that he is in fact basically her, his page was for her he was always you know writing apologies and all that now see what he talk for her. he said loving you is like food to my soul my beautiful wife once again i'm so sorry for everything love you endlessly like he's always sorry and i'm not saying apologies are bad but like he's sorry for something and all these facebook posts here may we never fall into the hands of people that are manipulated because they will come on online and come and act like they are sorry so people will now come and be telling you oh he's sorry he's sorry okay see what he said here also and he said there's nothing that can be compared to the love that um, they have and that they are made for each other nothing can separate them from each other because they were made to love and cherish each other but you didn't love and cherish her because somebody that you love and cherish you're not biting off the person's nose like you guys that the video was just so gory like and now in her father's house like so this thing about abusers sometimes eh, when they tell women to actually leave them this one actually now she left him you understand she left him she ran away with her children and you still came and abused her in her father's house her papa house oh my god this one is the, the i hope that this is the reason that she needs to know that she shouldn't even go back because somebody that comes to your father's house to inflict harm on you imagine what he would do when you are in the house that two of you share he's going to do worse things and when these people are actually you know um 
calling out people on Facebook or Instagram for stuff that maybe somebody abused somebody. I'm always wondering, somebody that did this kind of thing to you, why is the person not cool enough first in one terrible Nigerian police station before we even discuss this thing? Because the kind of thing that he did, he's supposed to be cooling off somewhere first while this matter has been discussed. Because apparently, according to the news, the lady is in the hospital trying to get treated. I hope that something can be done about it and, you know, fix because she actually had a piece of her nose in her hand. People actually do get married to their enemies and this is just a very unfortunate situation for this lady. I just hope that justice is served because something this guy needs to pay for this thing that he did. Anyways guys, this is the end of this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Please share and please subscribe to the channel if you never subscribed. Like this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.